Spring Striper, they're here. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mike Fan. I'm back out here at my honey hole right quick. <clears throat> so some of you guys have been asking me about my setup for my sturgeon rig and decided I'm gonna make a quick video for you guys for that right here. So here it is guys. This is my setup right here. <clears throat> Sorry for all the noise that there's a plane flying right above me right now. But uh let's just wait for this guy to go by. Anyways guys, now that he's gone, uh, this is my surgeon rig right here. It's an 11 foot surf uh, surf rod. It's a made by Lemmy Glass right here. It's called the Insane Surf Rod. I think I paid about $150 for it. So you know, you don't need something like this. You need anywhere from, I would recommend nine foot to 12 foot, even 13 foot if you're fishing from the bank. So uh, I just like the 11 footer. You know, it's, it's not too crazy. I can fit it in my car and uh, you know, my first rod I ever caught a sturgeon with was an 11 foot ugly stick, and uh, I forgot to bring that rod to showcase for you guys. But uh, this is my reel right here. It's a Daiwa BG 6500. Uh, I would recommend spooling anywhere from 40 to 60 pound mono if you're going to run mono setup. Uh, for braid, I'm not 100% sure because I don't use braid. But I like 60. Right now I'm running 60 on there. Because uh, you got to realize that there's some huge monster oversized sturgeon out there, guys. And I, I, my very first one this year, I forgot to change my line. And I and it snapped my line. And I was running a 40-pound uh, P-line C, CXX. And it just snapped like it was nothing. So now I'm running 60 right now. And for my leader, I'm just using a pre-made uh, Pookie leader right here. The steel leader. Uh, it's like two dollars at walmart I recommend you buy that and then some of these a bait button right here so to hold on to your bait i use a size seven specifically uh you can use a size eight too i recommend an eight a little six is a little too small i'd recommend an eight or a seven so you can uh, fit larger bait and then if you're at walmart grab like the biggest snap swivel you can find like the biggest one you can find that's what i did just grab the biggest one you don't need nothing super fancy just get one that's like the biggest one get that and then uh from there it's pretty simple guys just like a striper setup i got a bead down to protect my knot and then a sliding sliding uh, uh slider right here for your weight uh out here i like to use a 8 to 12 ounce weight depending on the flow um, during a faster outgoing tide, I recommend using a, a heavier weight. And then during slack tide, you can you can get away with like an eight or even a six uh, during certain times of the year. But right now, I recommend eight to twelve. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's just pretty up much my my setup right there. Pretty simple, just like a striper setup, but you know a little bit more beefier. So. All right, guys. So for bait, this is what you want to do. So if, grab a bottle of Pro Cure. If you don't have Pro Cure in hand, then get yourself one of these pair of gloves right here. The reason why I'm wearing gloves is because sturgeon they use their sense of smell when they're looking for bait. You know what I mean? For when they're hungry, they use their sense of smell. So they got really strong scent smell. The little whisker things that they have in front of their their little barbells. Yeah, they use that to uh, find their find their bait fish, their food. So I recommend getting one of these. Uh, the reason why you want to use gloves because you want to mask the smell of like your lotion, your hand sanitizer, the food that you ate, pretty much any type of smell you want to mask that. So it's because the surgeons are really smart. They use their senses, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you have a pair of gloves. Uh, if you don't have that, like I said, grab a bottle of Procure. Any one, they all smell like ass. Put it on your hand, rub it against your hand so they so it masks all the smell. You don't want no human smell on your bait on your hand and then this is a recommended bait right here freaking uh ghost shrimp so if you can get your hands on some ghost shrimp grab these guys right here uh combine them with some pile worm blood worm night crawler uh if you got some salmon roll some salmon roll another deadly combination is eel and pile worm uh you know all those baits you can throw them all in some sort of combination you know as long as they all smell and they stink it's going to catch you a sturgeon okay so uh Thought I'd give you guys some tips right there on uh, on the baits right there. All right, guys, for bait, here we go. We're gonna be using the ghost shrimp. I like to start from the tail first. From the tail, I like to push the head all the way up. The reason why I like to put the tail first is uh, 
I can slide the tail down to the tip right there. You see where the leader's at? So now I have room for one more. And uh, before I even put on the next one, I like to wrap mine first. I'll wrap this guy up, guys, so he stays steady on the hook. Right there. And then uh, grab yourself another one right here. Same thing. Uh, I like to do it by the tail. And then push it up where the shank of the hook is at. So the shank, the hook is like hidden right there where the head is at. Get your. Uh, get your bait button and poke it right through so that way he doesn't slide around as you see it's hard to do with the gloves that's why I hate about using the gloves but you got to do it because it'll mask the uh, the scent from your hands in case you put lotion or the hand sanitizer so that's why I recommend doing that and uh, right there, guys, that's good right there. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna put one more. <laughs> like I said, I like using like two to three of them, guys. So two to three. Oh, two to three. Oh, dude, did y'all see that? Freaking juice just came flying out there, man. Damn, that's all bad. So right there. Three ghost shrimp right there, back to back, we're back. A little threesome going on right there. Threesome action going on. <laughs> and you're pretty much good to go. I know, it's funny guys. So like, a lot of you guys have uh, favorite lures and favorite rods, favorite reels that you like to fish, or your favorite honey holes. For me, when I'm fishing sturgeon, I got favorite weights. <laughs> so here it is guys, this is an eight ounce right here. And then I got a 10 ounce. This 10 ounce right here has been super lucky. I've had this eight, 10 ounce weight for at least four years. <laughs> and it's cotton sturgeon, man. And then I got a 12 ounce weight as well. So that's funny. This is my favorite, uh, my favorite uh, sinkers right here, guys. Little, little pyramid sinkers, the four, -way, the four way ones, you know what I mean? So instead of having favorite lures and favorite baits, I have favorite sinkers. Alright guys, so we moved upstream just a little bit. Just uh, threw on all my last bait. See if we get any luck here. Anyways, guys, I'm out here right now. I uh, decided to switch spot because it was getting really hot where I was at earlier. So I went um, upstream a little bit. Down over here, it's a little hot too. But I threw on all my bait, see if I get any luck. I'll try for an hour. And, uh, you know, just casting out for some stripers right now. See the stripers are here yet. You know, little springers. See if those guys are here yet, you know. So... Uh, water seems a lot calmer this week than it did last week. So, right now is the uh, the incoming tide right now, so it's not even drifting that hard, barely. 
So if a sturgeon bite, it'll be easy to detect. So hopefully we can catch one. See what we got here, guys. Striper. Striper right there, guys. Right there on the Kaitek. Beautiful striper. Nice little fatty right there. Let's see what this one is. Ooh. Feisty little guy. Right there. Right there, guys. On the on jerk bait right there. On a dual realist. Beautiful striper right there. Nice keeper size. Right there. Right on the mouth. Little spring schoolie right there. Alright guys. Right there guys. Spring striper. They're here. So second one in like 15 minutes guys. Right there. Beautiful striped bass guys. <laughs> 